Hello. So now you've determined the number of trials that you do for each length and the number of oscillations that you do for each trial, the last thing to determine is how many different lengths of pendulum you're going to do in this experiment. So let's set up another sheet in our workbook. So here's our next workbook sheet. I've called it lengths, but this is really going to be our you know, big final raw data table that we're going to use. So you've already thought about how you are going to measure a mean and standard deviation for the different lengths, whatever process you're going to do in order to get those values, uh, you've already figured that out. So then you've got your number of trials as previously used in these videos. I'm saying there are five trials, but you've determined how many trials you're going to use and you've determined the number of oscillations that you're going to use on each trial. So what you do is for each, you, you pick a length number, you know, you pick a length for your pendulum, you measure the length, get a mean and standard deviation, however you've decided to do that, to put in these cells here, and then you start timing and you've determined the number of oscillations, you get a time. You repeat the same number of oscillations for your second trial, you get a time, and so on and so on and so on. And then you get a total time for that number of oscillations averaged and the standard deviation in that total time. And then you can convert to period and the standard deviation in your period uh, because you knew how many oscillations that you did. Okay. So then you repeat for a second length. You know, maybe you then go a little bit longer and repeat the experiment and repeat, fill in the whole table all the way across like that. And then you would do a third and fill the table in all the way across. Um, most of this should, you know, are formulas, so it should fill in your, itself as you go, kind of like these. And then you keep going. I would recommend to make a graph. So open up Plotly chart and graph these data as you go. So the, the length, you've got the error bars, and then the period and the uncertainty, and graph it as you go. And when you think you have enough data in to, you know, to see the pattern, you can stop. So once again, there's a judgment call here on yours where you're going to go through and, and add points and, until you get enough data. And once you think you, you see what the pattern is starting to look like, you can stop. So the call is totally up to you. I'll tell you, it's it's more than three. Um, that's just enough to sort of show you how this is working. And good luck.